Have you ever thought just a single firewall refresh or a delayed SD-WAN config and the entire $3 million project gets delayed for weeks? This is the reality of the critical path. It's that path where if even a single step falters, the whole journey comes to a halt. And if you're an infra PM, this is your daily battle. Every day, you have to understand and manage this critical path. Suppose there's a firewall refresh project. This is a typical IT infrastructure project that involves several complex phases. Here, some tasks fall directly on the critical path, racking the new firewall, migration cutover, loading the configuration, and end-to-end -end testing. If any of these get delayed, then the entire go live gets delayed. No debate about it. This is a direct and clear impact. But some tasks are non-critical, like updating the LLD, updating NAT tables, or publishing the migration runbook. They are definitely important, but after the cutover, testing can often start for two to three days using live configs and logs. That's why documentation gets a bit of float. This is the flexibility that gives the project some breathing space. Now the question is, what is float? Think of float like an elastic band. It's an important concept that you need to understand. It stretches a bit, no problem. It gives some leeway in the project schedule. But if it stretches to the limit, the whole chain will get pushed. This happens when the float runs out. Example, the firewall cutover is done, but the documentation is still pending. There are three days before testing starts. This means documentation has a float of three days. If it gets completed within this window, then no issue. But if the documentation stretches beyond testing, then the testers won't have the updated IP schema, NAT tables, or even the firewall rule base. And that same documentation suddenly comes onto the critical path. This turns a non-critical task into a critical one. Now look at the SD-WAN refresh. This is another common IT infrastructure project. Here, the critical path tasks are hardware shipment, racking the device, zero-touch provisioning, and link testing. If there's a delay in any of these, the customer cutover date will get pushed. This directly impacts customer satisfaction. But what are the non-critical tasks? Finalizing rack labels, formatting site handover docs, or uploading knowledge transfer notes. All these have some float. These tasks can be delayed for some time without any immediate impact. But if these also get dragged on too long, then they too can become critical. It's important to understand the limit of float. Suppose the testing team doesn't have the updated topology diagrams, then they won't be able to do validation properly. At that time, even a simple document can become a blocker. A small document can hold up the entire project. So the bottom line is, critical path equals zero float. Delay means delay. No leeway at all. Non-critical tasks have float. A little delay is okay. But if they get dragged out till testing, then even these become part of the critical path. That's why Infra PM chase after every deliverable. Every small task has its own importance. Because many times, it's that pending document or diagram that decides the project's success or failure. Your alertness is the key to success. If you too have felt the pain of the critical path, hit like so that this truth reaches more PM. Share your war story in the comments, whether it's a firewall cutover or SD-WAN migration. We want to learn from your experiences. And don't forget to subscribe. You'll find more myth-busting truths of Infra PM right here. Stay connected with us. Thank you.